now let's see about this problem prove that l is equal to a power p such that p is a prime is not regular so in order to prove a language as not regular we use a pumping lemma pumping lemma for regular languages pumping lemma is mainly useful in order to prove a language as not regular so this is the language which is given a power p such that p is a prime so let us solve this problem let us solve this problem solution so initially we have to assume l as a regular language let l is a regular language let l is a regular language next and n is an integer constant n is an integer constant so we have to assume n value initially so l is a regular language n is an integer constant and we have to select a string so select a string w from the language l from l such that the condition is mod w is greater than or equal to n so mod means length of that string is greater than or equal to n so n means a positive integer constant so let us derive the language l is equal to here what is the language uh, a power p such that p is a prime number p is a prime number so what are the prime numbers 2 is a prime number so 2 means a power 2 so we can have 2 as next 3 is a prime number so a power 3 means 3a next 5 is a pr prime number so we can have 5as so likewise uh, n number of prime numbers we can take in the language okay next we have to assume uh, n value so it is our choice we can take either 2 or 3 or 5 it is our choice okay let n is equal to 3 so it is our choice and select a string w from l such that mod w is greater than or equal to n if you take w as triple a then what is mod triple a 3 so 3 is greater than or equal to 3 so we can take triple a as the string or 5 so mod w means mod 5 is so 5 5 greater than or equal to 3 so we can take either 3 as or 5 as or 7 as but we can't take 2 as by why because we assumed n as 3 okay so let the string w is equal to 3 as 3 as such that what is the condition mod w so mod w is greater than or equal to n mod what is w what is w w means 3a mod 3a is greater than or equal to what is n value 3 so mod 3a means 3 so 3 is greater than or equal to 3 condition is true so we can take uh, w as 3a okay and uh, next we have to divide divide w into 3 parts divide w into 3 parts such as u v w so we i am sorry here what is the string here let us assume that the string is z let us assume that the string is z so what is the condition mod z is greater than or equal to n so let z is equal to triple a what is the condition mod z is greater than or equal to n why because here w is available here so that's why let us assume that the string is z so mod z is greater than or equal to n so condition is true so we have to divide the string z into three parts u v w such that here the condition is in such a way that we have to satisfy two three conditions mod u v is less than or equal to n and the second condition is mod v is greater than or equal to 1 mod v is greater than or equal to 1 and we have uh, one more ca case is there for i is greater than or equal to 0 u v power i w is in the language is in the language 
सो हियर वी एश्यूम्ड जेडियास जेडियास त्रिभुज सो वी हैव टू डिवाइड दिस त्रिभुज इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स सो लेट अस एश्यूम दैट दिस इज यू इट इज आवर चॉइस ओके इट इज आवर चॉइस बट वी नीड टू सेटिस्फाई दिस टू कंडीशंस लेट दिस ए इज वी लेट दिस ए इज डब्ल्यू सो यू मींस ए वी मींस ए डब्ल्यू मींस ए सो लेट्स चेक वेदर दिस टू कंडीशंस आर सेटिस्फाइड आर नॉट मॉड यू वी यू मींस ए v means a is less than or equal to n is less than or equal to n what is n value what is n value 3 so 2 mod a a means we have length of the string is 2 so 2 is less than or equal to 3 condition is true so the first condition is satisfied now let's check the second condition what is the second condition mod v is greater than or equal to 1 mod v what is v a mod a is greater than or equal to 1 What is mod a? Mod a means one only, so that is one. One is greater than or equal to one. Condition is true. So these two conditions are satisfied. Next, for every i greater than or equal to zero, u v power i w is in L. Okay. If any string is not present in the language, then we can say that it is contradiction. Why? Because initially we assumed L as regular, but if one of the string is not present in the language. it is contradiction it is opposite here so we can say that it is not a regular language so let us take u v i w let i is equal to 0 then what is u u means a what is v v means a a power initially we assumed i as 0 here we are starting i from 0 onwards 0 into what is w a so a into a power 0 means 1 a a into 1 means a a a a a a a is present in the language a is present in the language so now let us check let us take another value so we have to check whether those strings are present or not we need to continue the procedure until a string is not present in the language so a into a into now i value is 1 so 1 into a so a into a into a is nothing but triple a Triple A is also present in the language. Let i is equal to two. So then a into a power i is equal to two into a. So then a into two a into a. So totally we got so two a means two a plus a. So a uh, a square means a a. Next we got four a, four a. But four a is not present in the language. So this is contradiction. Initially we assumed L as the regular. But the this uh, string four a is not present in the language, so this is contradiction. Contradiction to this one, this one. So we can say that this language is not a regular language. Why? Because initially we assumed L as the regular language, but we got a string which is not present in the language. So this is contradiction. This is entirely opposite to the regular. So we can say that this language is not regular. Why? Because the string is not present in the language. Four years. So likewise, let us assume that we got five years. Uh, next, we need to assume i as three. And likewise, we need uh, we have to repeat the procedure until we get a string which is not present in the language. Okay. In this way, we can check whether a language is uh, regular or not regular by using pumping lemma. So pum pumping lemma is mainly useful in order to prove a language as not regular.